Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Wonder Squad? Oh, my face cam. It's gone. Boop. Okay, we're back. Get a little boop action. Fighting the Chiron. Old Migslo. <laughs> I don't know why, but the name Migslo seems funny to me. I think I'm just going to go Transcendence. I'm just going to keep it simple. I have an issue these days of keeping things simple. I'll overcomplicate things, do some wacky builds that I shouldn't be doing, and then uh, and then getting owned because of it. So I'm just going to keep it super simple. It's try Hard Thursday Edition. Or try our Thursday simple edition. What is that brand that makes like organic shit? Is it, it's not simple. It's sim simply. Is it simply? Or is it simpler? Either way, I'm going to do the simple edition. Because I am a man that needs simple right now. All right and boop two stacks on the passive and i still out cleared him holy guacamole this guy can't clear a wave do a little hop ski doodle a little two punch him in the booty cheeks a little booty cheek punch and i am maxing my one because uh, i am gonna go pretty heavy on the d here Gonna have a pretty big D here to deal with. A little defensive titan, as if you will. Hello. I don't think I'm scared of you. Like, I think you should be scared of me, realistic. Perfect. Now you're gonna back, right? Because there's no way you're greeting this wave. That will eliminate you. Perfect. Perfect. He went greedy. I went murder. He went greedy. I went murder. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now he does have alt. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's level four. I was going to say he does have alt, so maybe he could kill me here if I'm not careful. But uh, he's level four. So I'm going to, again, do a little greed mode. Now I'll back here. I don't think he's going to show up. But just in case, I kept my shop down for a second. He is going Transcendence also, but he's not going to be able to stack off this wave. Uh, no, sir. Oh, God. This is where you and me have an issue. I missed. No issues anymore. I'm sorry, sir. Wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. He didn't even juke. Literally walked in a straight line away from me. And two. Uh, I don't want him to back because I have transcendence stacking and he doesn't. So if I can avoid him backing, that is literally ideal. I should have jumped that. I don't know why I didn't jump that. a nice little seven stack on him i'll touch this probably was not worth losing the health he's got no mana and no ages oh uh, he had enough mana he had enough i i really don't think I don't think that he's going to be able to fight me here. I could be totally wrong. And this is the opposite of keeping things simple for sure. I need to know if he bought defense. He did not buy defense. Okay. Alright. I am very happy with that. Because he is... He is not comfortable anymore. He is low HP. You're all to me. 
But you missed every alt because I'm the best. Hello? I'm surprised he's not just going to his blue buff, to be honest, because I don't think he can take this. I, I feel like he knows he can't take this, which is why he's just staying back. But if if you know you can't, like, contest me, just go to your blue. At least get some farm on the map. Oh, maybe he's going to my blue, because he's dashing. My dude is booking it. You better not. Where did he go? Wait, where did he run to? Because he he cleared the wave and then dashed and he just never he never showed up again. And then all of a sudden he's at the wave? Did he just do a big circle or something? He might have just circled on me. Alright. Keep it simple, stupid. It's it's the only way I live my life. Good old kiss. Boop boop. Keep it simple, stupid. I got a full... How much protection is this? Fire protection corresponding with the damage type up to four times. That's a 70 protection item. That I, I just became very tanky. And you went tier two titans. Though. I think you just die here. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of tanky. Yeah. I'm kind of tanky, and you didn't respect it. So I think you just get owned. All right, 38 stacks on Transcendence. I really feel like it's better to not go transcend. Oh, to not go Transcendence and instead just go like, but he's not at the wave. Are you coming over here? You are very slowly. I think I have time to do this. Um... I forgot what I was talking about, to be honest. I'm just going to walk at you. I think there's literally nothing you can do to me. I missed my two. I hit him for 90 plus my, uh, my scepter, my interceptor. Oh, I was going to say, I think it's better to go Jotun's first item. If you can sustain without needing the health bots and stuff. Okay, he did just press all of his buttons. I'm very happy with this situation. In case it wasn't apparent. Alright, Phoenix down. It's blue buff time. I'm not going to pick it up because I do not have mana issues. Get the scepter. He is scared of me. I mean, you can't really blame him. I have 3,500 gold. Holy crap. I feel like all that gold just came out of nowhere. Um, I'm going to buy Blink so I can just be like hyper aggressive and I'm going to get a 500 pot here as well. Serrated plus 500 pot. He has no defense. Also, Crusher second item is really bad. Like, really, really bad. But yeah, Jotun's first item, I feel like is better if you can sustain because 
like transcendence or like any stacking item really stacks off damage you deal now so later in the game you're just gonna deal more damage so you might as well just get it then but i don't know i'm gonna actually do so much damage to him i went from doing 90 damage in auto to 260. His dash is down. I blink on him here and he dies. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I missed. I think I killed myself here. I just I just heal a hundred health and an auto attack. He is kind of healing a lot or not healing a lot. He's kind of doing a lot of damage, but also I feel like it. I'm, oh, I got hit by that. And now I, I can't do this unless I grip these up. So close. Oh, close, low, close. Dominance. I mean, in comparison, like comparing the two damage we deal, he does nothing to me. Like he hit me for 78 damage for auto. So maybe the damage that actually owned me there was the Titan hitting me. It, I mean, it's very possible it could have been. I lost no HP doing that. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy Phoenix. Oh, I missed my freaking thing again, man. the blue buff i guess oh blue buff is not up i could die here but i don't really care this is a little bit of a little bit of a snoozer fast a little snoozer fast him just defending his titan so i'm cool with taking the risky play and it ended up not even being risky i'm pretty sure i gained hp during that fight nice hope you guys enjoyed game one i'll see you guys in game two yo what up gamers game number two i'm playing a little bit of hachimon i'm fighting a gilgamesh lxrd k9 lord k9 lord dog anubis maybe his name means anubis all right i'm gonna keep it simple again like i've been saying i think it's the best thing to do for me personally do I even get my one here? My one is completely overpowered. But also getting oh, two points in my two here kind of slaps. But like, okay, so this is four auto attacks, 40 plus 60% of my damage. There's probably more than an extra 60 damage here or 55 damage here. Okay. So this is worth more than this. Probably... 
I will say though, not getting my stun is better. And then upping this twice actually might be the best play. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm not going to get my stun because it's 40 damage per hit. And instead, oh, by the way, if he invades me, I lose the game. <laughs> Probably worth mentioning. I should, uh, I should have invade proofed myself, but I did not. He did his stuff very quickly. Can you not kick a minion at my head, please? All right. Well, some people just don't like the rules, I guess. And I'm getting owned. You shell. All right. I'm okay with this. I am definitely okay with this. He is pretty low now. Okay. I'm surprised he's not trying to stun me. I really want his blue buff, but I don't know if I can get it. I took a tower shot. Oh no, dude. That is so tragic. That is so tragic, man. Aww. <clears throat> Dang it. Okay, fine. You can get your blue buff. I'll allow it. At least I get Scepter. You think he got Transcendence? He did. That sucks. Just took a lot of damage, gamer. Probably just gonna back though. He is just gonna back. He's gonna lose that gold. Three minutes. Let's go, dude. The perfect Chesterfield rotation. What a lovely situation to be in. I have horrific backup and I have alt backup. I'm down to mano y mano you. Perfect. Perfect. Really good stun into an even better ult. I don't know why he held his ult so long, by the way. I feel like he really should have just dumped it on me. In the hopes that it scared me away. Um, I'm kind of not missing. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's a shell down. There's no way you're greeting this. There's no way you're staying here. Oh, I missed everything there. That's important. That's done fourth. I have enough to get Devos here, but I kind of just want to go Aussie. 
I kind of don't want to have to stack. Oh, why are you still here, gamer? Your blue up? Your blue might even be up. Oh, all to the wave. All right, little wave alt. I was kind of thinking he might he might stay, and if he stays, I might stay. Gonna go berserker shield here. Never mind, I don't have enough money. I'm not gonna wait another fifty gold. <clears throat> My damage is very good. I would normally go pick up that blue buff, but like I am, I don't have mana issues on Hachimon, so I don't feel the need to have to go pick it up. And instead I can just sit here and punch him in the head. I'm sure you're dead. That was a, that was a weird jump in. That was a very weird jump in. Man, Hachimon is so fun to play. I should play more often. That stun is so satisfying to hit. All right, I'll see you guys in game three. What's up, gamers? Game number three. This guy's higher MMR than me, so it should be a pretty insane game. He's over 3,000. Little Freya. Christics. I don't know who this is. Let's see what his MMR is. My other monitor. Um, I probably just go attack speed. I probably need the attack speed. Wait, it's not showing me MMR. What the heck? I can't even look at his MMR, dude. What a messed up day. What a messed up day. I wonder why. I wonder why it's not working. He's probably going to go red buff because he doesn't need the mana because of his passive. Which I should have thought about last game, by the way. Like, I, I should have known that I can just go red buff for free. Obviously, as Freya, my abilities cost mana, and I don't have a mana or an MP5 passive. He's not going to invade me, right? Looks like he might invade me. I think he might invade. If he does, this is going to suck. If he doesn't, I'm very happy. He did not. He's doing red buff. He actually did red buff really quick. I got to get this back on Benito, though. All right. I don't think you win this. Oh, okay, you definitely do win this. Sheesh. The red buff owned me. Does he have five there, actually? No, he doesn't. If he had five, I die here, but he doesn't have five. Okay. I just sit back here. He's just going to try to ability dump on me. No big deal for me. He does clear much better than I do. Oh, but actually I hit. I have alt now. I don't think I really worried about him at all. Well, if I got one more auto off, that would have been sick. I'm okay with that. It's a free alt. I guess he assumed it would kill me, but kind of a free alt for me. I will take it because I have no healing yet. 
That actually hit me. I got golden sharded there. Grab this. The chalice. It's going to give me a decent amount of attack speed and a decent amount of life steal. And then next item, I think I just go berserkers. And then after that, I start the life steal train, you know? The normal Freya life steal train. I'm going to be behind in gold a little bit, but that's fine. Griffin Wing has an insane power spike that I just can't keep up with. I'm not too worried right now. I'm chilling, I think. I think that's pretty okay for me, right? You go your way, I go my way? Or are you invading? So it looks like he's letting me have this. Which is really good. Um, let's just go tier two berserkers here. I, I kind of wanted to be like weird and go more attack speed because my attack speed is terrible, but berserkers gives me attack speed. So let's not, let's not mess with it. Let's just go. Let's get it. What'd you get? Tier two? What about wards? He's a warder. Jesus, that does a lot of damage. I think he's maxing his one. Ah, uh, no, that did 206 damage. There's no he's maxing his one. They did owe me, though. If he does that again with alt, I just die. And he does have alt up, so. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm going to feel that Berserker shield, though. That's going to be really nice. It's going to help me clear so well. He just backed. I now have Berserker shield. Uh, he's going to have Aussie. Modest protection with minimal bulk. I'll take it. This is giving me 45% attack speed when I get low. You have the Aussie online. Then it really just depends on what I want to go next. Ow. Jesus Christ. That hurts so much. his red buff wore off and he lost a lot of damage from that actually i'm feeling pretty happy about that i can maybe even fight him That Aussie zoning. Mm. That took mana both when I went up and when I went down. Just gonna back here. I think I need more attack speed. Oh, actually, what if I go toxic? My damage is gonna be freaking terrible, by the way. I only have 45 power.
What if I go Toxic and then I go Typhons? And I skip out on the Bancrofts. That might actually be okay just because of the fact that Telkines gives me some lifesteal. I don't know. I'm a bit behind. It's gonna take some uh some finessing for sure. He's going pestilence. Fine by me. Jesus. Jesus. So he did not miss a single auto. He actually didn't miss a single auto attack. Holy shit. Um, okay. That's not good. Damn, he did Bull Demon really fast. I think I could just straight up lose this game. I don't know how he's doing that much damage, but he is obliterating me. He has a 500 pot and red buff right now. Um, <gasps> Such a keen edge. He doesn't have red buff anymore. It's pretty nice. Yeah, okay, he missed the horrific, which is nice. Keeping my Phoenix alive by any means necessary. Okay, not bad. The Phoenix was kept alive, gamers. We've done our part. The balance is perfect. It took a lot of risky plays and a lot of uh, dumb situations I had to put myself in, but it worked. Thank God. And he does have a ward here, so he knows I'm here. I really want Telkines. <clears throat> All right, I can sell one pot and just wait for the next amount of gold. <clears throat> Spooky as fuck, but I'll do it. Now I have some pen. Pretty sure I just stood on a ward, by the way. Um... Is that red pot 500 or red buff 500 pot? The balance is perfect. He is full anti heal. Uh, 
I'm really surprised he wasn't doing red or doing bold demon just now. No red buff. I will take that. fight that really don't think I can though Got the scepter. You know what's the best thing about this game so far is that he actually hasn't been able to utilize that 500 pot yet. Just watching me. They're watching and waiting. His dash is down. He could actually die here. I don't think I can do bold even fast enough. So I'm going to threaten it with my movement and then I'm just going to back out. Um, He's got crit. He's probably going to back and actually have crit chance now. My guess is Demon Blade because that item's OP. Oh, Boomerang. Okay. He bought another 500 pot. I feel like he spent like 1500 gold on 500 pots this game and that cannot be good for him. All right, taking all that damage is definitely not good for me though. Perfect. Perfect. He went so greedy. He went so greedy for me. I don't really care about taking the tower that much. I just care about getting red buff down. I actually think that lifesteal is not the play here. And that I would rather have rod. Because I really feel like my the only thing lacking right now is my power. 
obviously once he gets deathbringer that's gonna fucking suck but there's not really much i can do about that because if i buy spectral it's just like a temporary fix you know i need to win the game before he backs basically I bought another 500 bot i think it's so stupid how many 500 bots he's buying I think it's stupid to buy like one, let alone more than one. Okay. Hastened. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Why, uh, why he played the way he did. I think the saving grace was me like kind of backing him off my Phoenix. If he got my Phoenix there, I think I just get owned. But we ended up winning. Um, I wish I knew what MMR that guy was because my my thing isn't um, looking it up. But I don't know. I'll see you guys next game. What up, gamers? I am playing Anubis. He's playing Medusa. I assume it's the same guy as last time because he banned the same stuff. I know you can't really see because my face cam is huge, but um yeah same guy as last time the fact that he's got this weird border on makes me think he's a smurf i just don't know who smurf he is i have no idea who smurf he is going horrific won't really help me that much so i'm just gonna go shell the reason horrific won't help me that much is because it doesn't slow attack speed anymore it would still lower his damage output by 15 percent actually or 10 percent i'm sorry but I don't know. <clears throat> Doesn't really seem that worth it to me. I might need to get my two here. I wonder if he's going to invade me or not. All right. I really don't want him to have red buff, but the alternative is me fighting a level three Medusa, which is never going to work for me. So I'm just going to do this. He actually cleared a lot slower than I thought he would. I definitely could have been more aggressive here. Not bad. I think he knows for a while I'm going to have pressure over him. Oh, I really want to get this XP. Nice. I didn't get the kill, but I got the beads and I got the buff. Which is huge for me because now I get Bancroft's, which means I actually have the power to kill. So not only did I get his beads, now I also have the ability to actually kill him. Assuming he doesn't alt my stun, which he might, because he's a good player, but if that happens, then so be it. to run away from him oh that's exactly what i was talking about before
Not that bad for me, though. dies here. Nice. Nice. No beads, no alt, no problem, baby. How much can this endure? No beads, no alt, no problem. Now he does have an alt, which means I could definitely die to him. Because his alt should be back up by now. Um, and he's going to have a power spike. He's also going to get red buff because I'm way too scared to fight without any of my stuff up. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, I missed the lane. I can just land my three or my stun. Basically, just scared him away. Nice. Get some tower damage here. Tower damage isn't that important because I could get the blue buff, but he just beads up. The fact that he's not going defense second item against Anubis is like actually criminal. His blue is up. Alright. A lot of people don't think about Anubis's damage on they just think about his stun. Oh, if, if I'm not stunned, I can juke his damage. But his damage is really easy to hit, man. If I cut off your escape path with my three, and then I ult you, you're going to take a lot of damage from that. Like, like way more than you like initially assume, for sure. So he's got Xy now. I'm a thousand gold up, though. I'm feeling pretty good. Once he gets anti-heal online, though, it's going to be a different story. All right, obviously, I don't want him to get this, so I'm just going to take this. All right, he backed. He's going to be ready for a red buff fight. Unless he just doesn't show up in time. He's here. Perfect. Greedy. So greedy, man. He beads my alt and thought he could just waltz back in. Thought I'd let him just walk back in. It does have 40% anti-heal now. And it's anti-shield, which means I should not have gone shell. Alright. I guess that was a misplay on my part. I didn't even think about that. Hello. I stink.
There's nothing up right now, so I don't mind letting him walk away for a second. Actually, I can back and get Typhons. Not going to buy second relic yet. I think I'm probably going to end up buying Horrific. Just because the damage output lowering is still decent. get the buff no he dropped it wonder if he's gonna be expecting the corner he is expecting the corner I got the kill, but it was not clean. I didn't enjoy how much I had to do for it, but we got the kill. Uh, let's go mirrored in here. And I am going to go 500 pot as well. Actually, if I'm full committing to 500 pot, I just need to full commit to relic choice as well. Might actually be doing bull demon. The fact that he's not here is a little iffy. Alright, there's his beads down. I think you're dead here. You are dead. Depends on how tanky my minions are. I might be able to get Phoenix. Oh. My minions were practically dead. I didn't know that. No, I don't even know if I can get Phoenix. I, sh I still should be able to. My damage is pretty good. Oh, I think I've killed myself. Oh, no. He can't walk past my stuff. Nice. I got a minion in. Getting this minion in means I get the Phoenix. Let's grab Mirrodin. Uh, let's grab tier 2 Rod here. There's not really anything else I can grab. I still have <clears throat> I still have 500 pot for another like almost 3 minutes. It's 2.5 minutes.
I kind of do want the cooldown for blue buff, but I'm just going to go for red instead. Just going to run. He just down. That's really good. That is really good. there okay a weird alt but i'll take it i'm gonna go pick up red buff and then i'll grab rod and then should be able to end the game My limitless power i only have 80 seconds on red buff 30 of which is getting to the titan so, or red pot, I mean. So this might be a little iffy, but my damage is going to be crazy strong with rod, red pot, and 500 pot. Just dropped a ward. Yeah, holy shit. My ult just did... Yeah, my ult 3 combo did 5,000 damage to the Titan. That's insane. Like, like, I knew my ult would do a lot, but I didn't know it would do that much. 500 pot, red buff, Mirrodin, and Rod. I'm just doing so much damage, it's crazy. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that is going to be the end of Try Hard Thursday today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.